Hi, today at Woodcraft and Wizardry School, we learned about, what was it we learned about, Marsh? Fairy tales. Oh, right, fairy tales. Like Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood. And Snow White. Yeah. And even Hansel and Gretel. Jackson Pierce. That reminds me of Jackson Pierce. Remember we did an interview with her? She was so nice. Yes. Jackson Pierce is a young adult author. She wrote As You Wish, Sisters Red, and her new book, Sweetly. And she's currently writing Fathomless, which are all based on fairy tales. As You Wish is based on genies. But What's that? What's happening? It's our culture. It's speaking to us. It's never done that before. It's telling us something about the giveaway. Oh, oh, the giveaway! Let's see what we're giving away. A little bit of gruel, a little bit of hat wings, and a little bit of spooktacular remedy to top it off. I love that. Now a little shake of our magic suckers. And From Jackson Pierce. Let's see what we got. An autograph copy, an, an autograph copy of Sisters Red. Yeah, I bet you can win it. Leave a comment on this video with your email address and your favorite fairy tale, and you will be entered in a drawing to win Sisters Red. I hope you win. Now let's get to that interview. Hi, and welcome to a Lost Story of My Book Review. Today we're at the Cater Book Festival to interview Jackson Pierce. Jackson Pierce is a young adult. She is written, as you wish, the sisters read in her new book, Sweet. Let's get to the interview. Um, when I was a kid, my favorite book was actually a series. It was called The Boxcar Children. Um, and they were not necessarily very like high in literature, like very, very good books. That since um, they were mass produced, they had a lot of ghostwriters, but it was about this group of kids who lived in a boxcar and they like survived on their own with these siblings. And they, I really admired how they didn't have adults and they still managed to you know, feed themselves and clothe themselves. And they even went out and got a job. They even had a dog, which I consider to be a very big deal to have a dog. So um, that was actually my favorite series ever was the Boxcar Children. My mom had to give them to me like candy. Like I could only have one. And if I read it, like, I didn't get any more until next week. So. What was your favorite? What is your favorite fairy tale? My favorite fairy tale right now is actually the Snow Queen, which um, is not a very well known fairy tale. It's by Hans Christian Andersen, and it is his second most famous fairy tale. When your first most famous is The Little Mermaid, it's kind of tricky. Um, but it's a really cool one, and it has my favorite character in it is this girl that calls her the Little Robber Girl. And she's this like gypsy child who, when the, when, the, uh, when the main character meets her, she's like she's like sassy and fun, and you're never really sure if she's going to like kill you or not. But she's really funny all the time, so she's a really cool character. What's your favorite book genre? My favorite genre um, is young adult books. Um, but within that, um, I, I used to I would normally say fantasy, but I actually have gotten really into contemporary lately. And I have a contemporary book coming out next year. Um, so just young adult um, is my favorite. Any, anything young adult. Why do you think it's so important for young adults? I think that reading um, makes you a more complete person. I think right now we um, live in a time where there's a lot of things available for you, like fast entertainment, like commercials and television, and it's all flashing at you, and it's happening right now. And it was always in like in the car, you can watch TV, and on your phone, you can watch TV, and that's all. I've watched movies on my phone, like that's that's cool. But I think that that makes people use. 
to always being entertained instead of maybe providing something. And when you read a book, you have to create it in your head. And you have to think about it, and you have to sort of create it in your own mind what you're reading, as opposed to having everything provided to you, you know? Do you ever think you'll write kids' books? I don't know if I will or not. I think that I typically will probably stay with young adults. Um, I think that writing um, literature books in middle grade is, is a talent because I actually tried to write a middle grade book and it was not very good. <laughs> it was a really cool idea so I hope I can come back to it and I really hope I can write that middle grade but um, I probably will never go below the middle grade. It will probably always be that middle grade set. When did you start writing? When did I start writing? Um, I wrote my first book when I was about nine. Um, it was about a girl who, um, she was in work, she lived in an orphanage, and um, she had a horse for some reason, even though she lived in an orphanage. I don't really know how she managed that, but, uh, and she, uh, I remember that in the very first scene, she was on her horse in the woods, and she found a bunch of kittens, and she picked up the kittens and rode back with her on, on her horse. So it was all about animals, and finding baby animals. Um, but, uh, and, and it was not very good. But, uh, but that was my first, my first time. Why did you want to be an Um, that's all I've ever wanted to do, actually. There's no, like, that's like asking why did you want your hair to be blonde. It just is, like, it just, that's just how it worked out. Um, I, for a very short period of time, wanted to be a veterinarian, but then my grandmother told me sometimes I might have to put animals to sleep. And so that was out. That was out immediately. <laughs> I'm not doing that. So from then on, all I wanted to be was, was an author. Um, so there's not really a reason I wanted to do it. I feel like it's just what I do. What inspired you? What inspired me to write? Um, every book is inspired by a different thing. Um, my book, As You Wish, was sort of inspired by uh, the lack of babies that were in books today. Sister's Rope was inspired by the fairy tale and my relationship with my sister. And um, Sweetly was actually like a flash moment where I got the idea kind of all at once. And uh, a historical that I've been working on, it was actually inspired by an episode of the Antiques Roadshow on television, which is a really boring show. Um, but um, on that show there was this pin, and it was this really pretty pin that had a pearl on it, and it was in the shape of a fish. And it was a pin that Mark Twain had given to this girl. And, um, and it inspired this whole story, and I learned I learned so much about like Mark Twain and all this stuff. And so all of my books have come from very, very different places. Do you miss Do I research fairy tales? I do research a lot of fairy tales. Um, almost, almost every fairy tale has a lot of different incarnations. Um, like uh, Little Red Riding Hood, there are a bunch of different versions of it. Um, some fairy tales, though, The Little Mermaid, there's only really one version of The Little Mermaid. And there's only really one version of the story. So I try to read as many versions as I can and pull the biggest themes out and make sure I incorporate those into my retellings. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm to read my book reports. <laughs>